Okay. Uh, all right, let's get started. Okay, okay so um, first off, are you good with making this recording public? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, great, thank you. All right, well, first I'd like to thank you for everything you've done for the team. I, I know you've been very dedicated and you've spent a lot of time on everything. So thank you for everything you have done. Um, all right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so first off, who are you? What school do you attend? Where are you at in your academics? And what are your professional aspirations? So my name is Sabat Desi. Um, I'm a Master of Public Health student graduating from Colorado School of Public Health. Uh, and I'm majoring in maternal and child health. So um, previously I did Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Uh, I moved to United States in 2017. Then I had to change my career because I was more uh, intrigued by the public health. So here I'm now <laughs> doing public health. Well, we're sure glad to have you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, what attracted you to Nighting for Action? Um, so, um, as you know, I, I was born and grew up in southern province of India, where uh, a lot of people suffered from different types of communicable and non-communicable diseases like leptospoiriasis, filariasis, malaria, dengue, uh, and some of these diseases are either um, unfamiliar in the United States or either considered preventable. Uh, so during my time there, it never occurred to me like who would help or, or who would even spread awareness. I was just a passive member of the society. Now I got a chance to be a part of public health and a part of Uniting for Action project where I got to know why people are like, what are the reasons why they're not getting vaccinated and why social determinants of health play a role. This is the reason uh, I think I wanted to be a part of project uh, to help make uh, people, to help people make informed decisions uh, with my work on the research team. So, yeah. That's great, wow, all right. Okay, so how has Uniting for Actions met or exceeded your expectations? Uh, I feel for the most part, I got what I expected. I'm, uh, happier and more content with my work on research and outreach team. So answer your question. Uh, yes, unite, Uniting for Action exceeded my expectation because I learned more. Uh, new skills like time tagging, minutes taking, updating articles, pulling out experts and their information and contacting experts as a part of the outreach team. Uh, clearly before join, joining, I didn't know that there was so much exciting and fun stuff waiting for me ahead. Yeah. I'm glad you got to do that. <laughs> okay, uh, so what were you hoping to get out of doing an internship with Uniting for Action? Um, to begin with, I wanted to get on the research team from day one, where I was looking forward to in-depth study of wide range of challenges faced by maternal and child health population and di diverse population. I wanted to learn uh, the talents on how to lead an organization and also wanted to learn new skills and polish my previous research skills that I have learned during my master's in public health. All right. Okay, so which teams did you choose to work on and why? I choose a research and outreach team. Um, as I said, as a student of public health, I was more interested in research team because I wanted to do an in-depth study of wide range of challenges faced by people of the United States. As a result, I was researching my field that I'm majoring in, that is maternal and child health. On the research team, I wanted to focus on women and children population. I also wanted to understand the challenges faced by minorities, diverse population, and children. Uh, I wanted, I also wanted to join the outreach team because I wanted to know what outreach team does in an organization and what their roles are. On the other hand, I wanted to improve my outreach skills too. So, yeah. Good networking opportunities, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what types of things have you been doing as part of the research team? And can you screen share some examples? Mm, yep, I can do that now. Just a second.
Yeah, can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah, so as a part of research team, uh, obviously I did the time tagging and pulling out experts. I, I have not documented that here because I was not able to find the Excel sheet links that I have uh, did it previously. But I did the analysis on minorities. I did children vaccination analysis. And yeah, and what else? I did one more analysis. Oh, the mixed messages one? Huh? The mixed messages from the first FDA? Yeah, 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 here, the yeah. mixed messages. Yeah, so I thought of just um, writing the stuff that I did during my whole time here. So like I was documenting in my personal diary, so I, was, I just copy pasted it here. Oh, yeah. wow. That's that's really yeah, easy. So this is a yeah of what I did on which date. So this is a list, yeah. Nice. Huh. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> okay. Uh do you want to talk about the FDA presentation? Because I know you were working really hard on that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I got a chance to um chance to apply that's the other reason like i did not get selected because they were telling that um it was a lottery based something oh yeah yeah so yeah yeah i did my research on children uh, on like why the reason why they should be vaccinated with pfizer um i wrote in my analysis that um they are suffering with uh, a syndrome which we, uh, we should avoid, uh, avoid it in the United States. So yeah, I did my research on that. Very, very cool. Okay, uh, so what types of things have you been doing as part of the outreach? Uh, uh, there were not, not much stuff to do as a part of outreach team, but I have uh, learned quite a few things. Like uh, I created video scripts to describe the benefits of vaccine concentration project to public health professionals, general, general population, and other stakeholders. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Okay, so what valuable skills and experiences have you gained by being a part of Uniting for Action? Uh, as a part of uh, organization, I feel like my research communication skills have been improved as far as I know. I don't know if uh, everybody will agree with it me. Um, I was definitely more evolved with uh, working everybody on teams, um, as well as working individually and improving all the other time tagging and minutes taking skills. Overall, with this internship, I've learned new skills where I look forward to use in the future without any hesitation. Yeah. Well, I think on my part, you're, I have definitely noticed you coming out of your shell, being a lot more <laughs> communicative and giving some really great insights to the team. So. Yeah, count that as one of your new skills. <laughs> okay. How has Uniting for Action helped you take what you've learned in the classroom and apply it to the real world? Yeah, I firmly believe that the knowledge that I've gained through this experience has helped me develop uh, critical thinking skills that will serve me well in the future where I look forward to do in-depth study of wide range of challenges faced by people of the United States. Uh, this internship has enabled me to continue doing work I love that is investing in public health issues and coming up with the real solutions uh, to resolve the problem. I feel this internship, uh, along with my previous um, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery degree and uh, Master's of Public Health degree, will have give me the skills that I will need to continue doing uh, work on the behalf of community to better the life of citizens. All right. Okay. Have you found Uniting for Action to be flexible and accommodating your schedule? If so, how so? Yeah. Um, I found it to be very fle uh, flexible with the meetings and schedule and work. Uh, Jared has been very thoughtful to give us the option of working us whenever we want. 
uh, speaking for myself, uh, myself, I'm very happy, uh, very, very like uh, busy with classes, my capstone project, and with all the remote thing happening, I'm stuck with uh, my kids at home. Mm -hmm. So answering your question, I found um, the time to be flexible and accommodating. Okay. Yeah, I I'm definitely glad that the meetings are all recorded. So if you have to miss one, not a big deal. You can just rewatch it. So yeah, yeah. I I'm glad it's been good for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This it's been helpful. The timing is very helpful. How have you found Uniting for Action to be, oh, sorry, have you found Uniting for Action to be an inclusive, welcoming, and empowering environment? If so, how so? Yeah, uh, of all the questions, I really like this question. And uh, let me begin by saying that I'm, I'm very introvert and I get nervous very easily, but the team and specifically Jared um, try to make sure I share my ideas. As you do know that uh, he keep, uh, some brainstorming times in our meeting um, and let everyone raise their opinions and ideas. Um, he used inclusive language and was always very cheerful, full of energy and doing the amazing work while running an organization. I mean, that uh, it's such a great thing to do. And, uh, and on the other hand, I like to go with the fact that the realization within yourself, like no one can make you feel become more inclusive that we need to do it ourselves. I learned that uh, with the project. And I also um, like that our organization have a various diverse group and everyone like working together for one goal is more empowering. Yeah, yeah. I know for me, I'm so very introverted and shy, but this group has been so great about like, being so receptive to people's ideas and opinions and having good open conversations. So uh, I'm glad. But you you have, uh, yeah, but you have done a great job like working as a, as a leader on our research team. Thank you. Like, yeah, I, I, like, yeah, he was uh, like a more um, encouraging me to be a part of leader, but I've never seen myself as a part, uh, as a leader, but you have a great job <laughs> I'm sure you would have done a great job too like uh I know for me I lead by example and I can see that in you too like you you show up you do the work and it, it feels like a, yes Sebastian, doing it I'm gonna do it too you know <laughs> so you would have done a great job Thank you. okay uh so what have been the best parts most valuable aspects about being a part for uniting for action uniting for action <laughs> Um, I feel the best parts are the are our whole team meeting that we do on Thursdays, where everyone discusses the work uh, they and their teams have accomplished during the week and begin to plan for the upcoming weeks. And the most valuable parts are making team um, like making separate teams within the research team where we allot uh, time and schedule for the tasks we have to accomplish. I, um, I like that we were rooting for each other and reminding each other for the stuff we have to do and working remotely can get lonely. And but um, being accountable for the work we have, uh, we were doing our meetings was the most valuable and helpful part. I've definitely been glad to have the team meetings because at first yeah. I was like, oh, it's so long, but it really just flies by. Yeah. Get to see people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> would you recommend Uniting for Action to others? Why or why not? Yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend Uniting for Action to others for all the reasons I mentioned above. <laughs> Other than that, there is uh, room to grow here. There were many opportunities and the number uh, on teams you can work on and the number of teams you can work on. I like that we were not doing just one single word of uh, work, but we're doing magnitude of multiple works. Uh, like I said, I was on research team and I was researching articles, helping you and Jared with um, to apply for FDA presentation, tagging and updating articles and working with Maria and Mariana on the outreach team. So yeah, I would definitely recommend. Okay. okay, how will you use what you learned during your time in your career? I mean, I found it to be very helpful to be a part of Uniting for Action. I got an insight of how much work uh, will it take to run an organization and what everyone roles and um, on the teams are. 
I feel like my researching skills are polished more with the work I have done here. Like, uh, like time I used to research an article have been reduced now. Like I, I am more efficient now, like researching articles. Yeah. Good. Right. All right. What advice do you have for future Uniting for Action members? I feel like challenging yourself and be a part of team where your skills are lagging, I would say, uh, while um, onboarding strategies, uh, strategizing your goals and objectives and start working on them because, uh, because there are people uh, on the other teams who are here to help you uh, and they are from different background professions, I would say. It's a great place to begin and be open to learn and always be open to learning new skills from all the team members. Yeah. Right. yeah. I, I also, I would suggest the advice of writing in your diary without that. I think that's a very good idea because it gives you a clear line of everything you're doing. Cause I know yeah. I've forgotten things <laughs> going back for the showcase. I'm like, wait, I did that, wait. <laughs> but yeah. if I had a list like you, I'd be like, oh yeah, no, I know where that is. <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. that. Okay, uh, do you have anything else you'd like to say for your testimonial? Yeah, um, I think other, uh, other than this, um, in my competencies, I wrote that I have to uh, make a social media post. And I, like, I, I know that I'm not a part of our uh, production team, but I mm -hmm. want to do this. I wrote that in my competencies. Okay. So uh, yeah, I don't know who to like contact, like, like how to begin. I want to make a social media post, but I don't know where to begin. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, this weekend, maybe I will do that, so, uh, make a social media post. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I would so. suggest talking to Maria about that. Maria. She's in charge of the production team, yeah. Okay. Uh, if you want, I can give her, um, give you her phone number. Yeah, I have, I have her number. Okay, yeah. you have that, all right, cool. Great. Okay. Uh, do you have anything else for me or? I, yeah. I, thank you for leading us <laughs> and being a great team leader. You have done a good job. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I'd like to, again, thank you for being such a great team member and for all your amazing insights and opinions. And it's been great to see you grow and come out of your shell. And I hope you had a good time here and you got everything you wanted and needed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, yeah. we'll stop recording.